Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Naomi. Hi. Hi. I am the Chief Development Officer of the America Israel Friendship League. I'm here in New York today with our venerable host, uh, Becky Banks for in Tel Aviv. Hi, Becky. How are you? Hey there. Great. As much Good. as it can be these days. <laughs> yeah, happy New Year. It's, we've entered a new year since I last saw you. Yeah. <laughs> celebrate over in Israel? What, what was it like this year? Uh, yeah, we had a small celebration with some friends. Yeah. It was awesome. nice. Um, yeah, not Quiet. much. <laughs> Quiet, you know, up and down with school and all the traffic uh, going on with the new COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It, seems, it seems like they're opening up Israel a little bit for, for outsiders and Americans again. So hopefully we can get back to Israel sooner rather than later, I hope. Yeah, me too. And, uh, I see we have people already calling in from around the country. Please, as always, let us know your name, where you're calling in from, whether in the US, in Israel, around the world. Hi, Ariella. Hi, Susan. Um, please let us know in the chat on Zoom and on Facebook Live. We love to know who our guests are, where you're calling in from. And as always, tell us if you're a Pilates expert or if you're a newbie. Uh, no matter what your experience level, please, you know, it's, we're welcoming to everyone and we, we hope that you enjoy um, the class, whatever level you're at today. Um, Becky always tries to make sure to accommodate all of our um, Pilates viewers, no matter what level you're at. And um, Becky, I see that we're at a different angle in your studio today than usual. So tell us a little bit about our class today and what we're, what we're doing with you today. Yeah, um, so today we changed the angle so that we can get um, the wall space that uh, I have. I know it's not always easy to find wall space, even at home. Um, so even if you can do it right now or the angle is a little difficult, you can always go back to the video and watch it. Um, the wall is also like another accessory. Um, it gives us another dimension of movement. Um, we can lean on it, get good feedback on our spine with it. Um, it can also be sort of um, a block you know, to sort of rotate against um, and work with. Um, it just gives another level of support also. You can work at different heights with your feet, with your arms. Um, and that way you, can, you get different uh, resistance actually, you know, against gravity. Um, so you can really adjust uh, the level according, uh, the height of your legs according to the level that you can uh, withstand at, the, at this point. Um, just uh, another interesting uh, accessory. <laughs> what, what, what does the wall do for our body? Is it certain body parts that we're going to be focusing on today? Um, again, it can be really for everything. Um, we, there is a lot of spinal uh, movement with it. Um, Cause again, you get the feedback against it. We'll feel lengthening of the, sp the neck, uh, rotation of the spine against something. We'll be sort of squishing ourselves <laughs> in between ourselves and the wall. Um, it's really, really good for alleviating, alleviating uh, back pain uh, pelvic pain also. Um, and of course the whole handstand, uh, plank, uh, you know, that's a more advanced, um, workout we can, uh, work into. Um, yeah. So I think that really with the, every, any accessory that you work with, you can get a lot of different benefits, uh, you know, the different parts of your body. Great. Well, just so you know, we have tons of people um, writing in the chat from Zoom. I think almost everyone that I'm seeing says that they're new to Pilates, which is awesome, and new to this class and new to our series. So welcome to all of you. I see a yeah, couple of have been doing Pilates throughout COVID every single week. So we look forward to you guys being our experts today. Um, wow, so that's you just joined. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> But the vast majority, just FYI, are beginners. So just keep that in mind as you're teaching. Um, as you know, I've done a few with you, but I'm by no means an expert. So we will be spotlighting Becky for the majority of the next hour. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, feedback, feel free to put that in the chat. 
Um, we'll be talking with Becky again at the end of the hour and um, sharing any questions or concerns um, or compliments that you might have for her. Um, and also for any of you who would like a copy of this webinar, please write to us at webinar at AIFL.org. Um, also, Becky has let us know that if you'd like a private class with her or want to be in touch with her. Not, um, yeah, not necessarily uh, a private class. Um, I was thinking of adding online classes, like weekly online classes. Um, so I, I made this link that you can sign up to get uh, updates regarding that and we'll see when we'll start maybe next week, maybe in a few weeks. Um, if I get a, you know, no feedback. Um, so that would be great to hear from you guys just to get more of a consistent uh, workout. Awesome. And I know Becky is uh, very active on social media. So you guys can follow her on social media or on her website. And we'll put that in the chat as well for all of you. And, and again, any questions or to be in touch with Becky um, directly, please email us at webinar at AIFL.org or reach out to yeah. her directly in the link. Yeah, in the or through the link. You can always uh, send, uh, sign up to get the updates for the online classes and we can keep in touch from there too. Awesome. Okay, so anything else we need to know about our class today? Um, as usual, I always, sorry, I won't say as usual because there are a lot of new people. Um, anyone who has knee issues, uh, needs a, some something under their neck so that it doesn't sort of fly back when you lie down. Um, it's always good to have some cushioning or a rolled towel, a folded towel, um, just so that you don't feel the pressure uh, in certain areas that would bother the rest of the workout. So that's something to always have with you. Um, if you have balance issues, today there isn't that much uh, balance, but uh, sometimes you know, if you need to get up or go down, then have like a chair or something around just so you, know, you can sort of easily um, flow through the class. Um, I will try to give different levels um, for the harder stuff. Um, nah, that's about it. Okay, sounds good. Let's get started. Right. Okay. Again. Great. So um, we're gonna be leaning against the wall and notice that my legs aren't flat, my heels aren't flat against the wall. They're slightly, um, I'd say about 20 centimeters away from the wall and my knees are slightly bent, okay? I am feeling the pelvis, okay, the sacrum against the wall, my upper back, and then the back of my head, okay? It might not be easy to stand in this position, especially with the neck. I often give a little cushion uh, over here too. So just make sure you're not throwing your neck back at this point. Just sort of spread yourself and keep your head wherever you can so it's not straining your neck, okay? Knees are bent and relaxed and you're trying to feel the wall behind you. Hands relaxed now. So we're gonna tilt our pelvis forward. That means that we're slightly arching the lower back. I don't know if you can see it, but see, I can put my hand through. And then we're gonna roll our pelvis backwards so that we're rolling our vertebrae sort of up against the wall. I'm not pressing, just sort of smearing the vertebrae upwards and slightly back. And again, as we inhale, we're tilting forward, exhale, pulling up. And for those of you who weren't at the breathing webinar, I'm just gonna remind that when we inhale, we're sort of opening up, okay? We feel expansion in our body, our ribs open up and we relax the, uh, the abs, okay? But when we exhale, we feel, a lift through the front part of our body, which helps us tilt the pelvis backwards and flatten the lower back. Okay, so we're doing a few of these. Inhale, exhale, climb up. Inhale, exhale. One more time, in and X. 
and then relax to the neutral position, which means that you do have a slight arch probably that's not touching the wall. And now we're going to lift our arms on the exhale straight up. Try not to bend them, even if you're not reaching the wall behind you. Okay. So again, just inhale as you lower your arms and expand the ribs and try to also breathe backwards to sort of feel the wall in the back of your ribs. Exhale to lift the arms up. And since we're leaning on the wall, we're also trying to spread our shoulders outwards and we feel our scapula um, sort of gliding down the wall as we lift our arms up on the exhale. Again, in, X, lift the tummy and lift the arms and slide down with the back of your shoulders. One more time and up. And now we're really gonna try to press our arms against the wall. And now I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling the arms against the wall, I'm reaching, okay? So this is a good shoulder workout, okay? But now we're gonna actually reach ourselves up to feel the wall behind our arms. So my ribs are coming up. And now I'm gonna try to place them back on the wall and then lower the arms. For anyone who would like to learn <laughs> to do a handstand, this is a really good preparation, okay? Because it really gets the shoulders open and strong. Okay, so again, we're lifting our arms. It's hard to reach. I'm reaching. It's a bit hard, so I'm lifting up my ribs. And I'm gonna try to glide them back down onto the wall. Try to keep the arms up and then lower. Inhale, X. So also you can feel as if the hands are lifting up the front of the body. Again, reach back here, it's opening up a bit. So I can actually probably feel the wall with both my ribs, lower ribs and my arms. Okay, so keep going. Still you feel that there's some change happening. Exhale, you can inhale to reach, a little further, exhale to lower. Okay, and now we're gonna lift our arms up and bend the elbows. Now, uh, some people and most of us might have trouble feeling the forearm against the wall. So you might be flexing your hands to reach the wall. So I say, don't kid yourself, <laughs> keep your hands straight, okay? And just reach as far back as you can, okay? And then we're gonna bring our elbows towards the body, just keeping them open, keeping the arms open. Slide back up again and straighten. Maybe release the, hand, the hands from the wall. And again, open up. Try to reach your elbows towards the wall. Slide down, elbows towards the ribs. Back up and slide up again. Two more. Inhale, I'm expanding my ribs and my elbows and reaching down. One more time. Up and down okay and now we're going to work on the neck a little bit so try to imagine that you're pulling your ears up towards the ceiling and the chin is coming into your neck all right and then you're going to sort of press back just a little bit not too much and then relax you can lift your head a bit again on the exhale pull your ears up and the chin goes in and then relax. One more time. And then we're gonna stay there and just roll the head to the side a bit and try to bring your chin as close to your neck as possible. Sort of say a little yes. And back to the center. 
Again, chin tuck, ears glide up the wall, rotate to the other side, and say yes. <laughs> and back to the center, and relax a little bit. Now we're gonna start rolling down, okay? So I'm gonna inhale, lower my head. I'm still leaning on the wall, okay? So really try to keep your pelvis there. And just start peeling off the wall, chin in, and your forehead is looking right in front of, in between your big toes. Relax your hands and make sure that you're not bending your neck. Okay, so just drop it. Or even help yourself with your hands, okay? And then try to roll yourself all the way up the wall as if you're trying to put wallpaper on the wall with no bubbles. Chin in, long neck, and then relax again. Okay, so again, you can do it with your hands or without the hands. I kind of like the feeling. I'm not pulling, I'm just sort of weighing myself into my arms. And really feel how each vertebra sort of leaves the floor on its own time. And still keep the pelvis leaning on the floor. Uh, sorry, the wall. And roll back up again. You can open up. Inhale, close, exhale. And roll down one vertebra after the other. Release your hands. And now we're gonna try and reach as low as possible. So the pelvis is sort of peeling off the wall. And come back up again. On the exhale, again, feel your tummy sort of rubbing up into your ribs and roll all the way back again. Head down. Knees can bend. Still leaning on the wall, so don't disconnect. Just keep the connection there backwards. Okay, and then we're gonna reach our hands onto the floor, all the whole hand, and try to slide up by straightening your knees. If you can, or as much as you can, or just a little bit. Inhale as you bend your knees as much as possible and exhale, slide up. Inhale to bend and now, sorry, uh, you can exhale actually to get the curl. Okay, so sorry, inhale as you straighten your body and you can try and reach out with your chest, barely touching the floor. Exhale, start by curling, your lower back and reaching back down. One more time, slide up. Okay, and then try and release your hands. See if you can do this. So again, I'm sort of leaning against the wall at this point, but then also bring your weight a little bit forward. Feels different. Go back again and forward. Back again. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Okay, it's much more comfortable here if you want. Okay, back and forth and relax. Inhale, exhale as you roll yourself all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna move our feet a little bit more forward so that our knees bend a little bit more, are able to bend more. And we're just gonna go down a bit. And up. Uh, see how you feel in the front and on your knees. Okay, if you need a little bit of a warm up, you can sort of rub your legs before and warm up the knees. Okay, just to sort of get them juiced up a bit. Okay, and then you can go back up and we're just sliding down against the wall and up. So I'm reaching about a 90 degree angle. This is a little bit like doing uh, footwork on the reformer because <laughs> you get the feedback from uh, feeling the wall against the back, against the shoulders, against the pelvis. Okay, and I'll see if you're able to really go all the way down. Okay, so I'm really dipping myself all the way down and then lift up your arms, okay? So here also try to 
sort of lift yourself up and spread yourself against the wall. Open the arms and let's see who can come up from here. Ooh. Okay, so again, choose your level. Okay, you don't have to go all the way down. You can go part of the way and we'll do a few of the deep um, squats now, okay? Whoever can. And if not, you can reach this height, okay? Or whatever height suits you. Up and down. Try to keep your hips open. For those who are really brave, you can try and do it with one leg. <laughs> okay. Relax a bit. Now we're going to open our legs and we're going to turn them both to one side. Okay, I call it like the Egyptian uh, stance. Now, um, for those of you who don't have as much um, extension, okay, uh, around your shoulder, you can take a step forward, okay, further away from the wall. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, start with some rotations. So we're gonna lift both our hands up. If we can, we'll rotate, look at the wall. Now, this part is the hard part. So if I'm turning towards my right, then my right hand will go back. So I'm sort of hugging the wall now. Now, if this is a problem, okay, and also it's the, um, the pecs that might be a little tight, again, you can go forward or you can lower your hand and try to go around, okay? And see how close you can get to the wall. So again, I'm gonna do it. We're lifting our hands up or maybe lowering the hand that I'm rotating towards and try to find the wall. And now we're gonna look towards the back hand, so towards the right hand. Okay, just stay there for a moment and let the, Spine, get a nice kvitch, <laughs> okay? And we're gonna come all the way back up again and back to place. One more time like this, and then we're gonna add a bend, okay? So hands go up or maybe down, and then open to that split. Look at your back hand, and now we're gonna bend forward towards the front leg and try to keep yourself as close to the wall as possible. If you need to bend the front leg, feel free. And then come back up. And then we're gonna extend ourselves up and over towards our back leg. And you can sort of use the wall to get a little bit more of a twist. Try to lengthen the front of your body so that you're not falling into your lower back. And back again. And again, just try out the range of motion that suits you at this point. You don't have to go reaching for your leg. And back. And rotate back to place, okay? I'm gonna do that on the other side, okay? So flip your feet. I'm aiming to the left. We're gonna lift up our arms, rotate. Okay, so our whole body is turning and again, Check and see if you can get the leading arm to go all the way around and just stay there. And try to just really split your hands as wide as possible and you can look towards the back hand, which is my left right now. All the way up, rotate back and relax. Up, turn, let the hips twist and look towards your back hand. Try to sort of lengthen the back hand to get an extra twist there. And back again. And then we're gonna add the side bends, okay? Up, rotate. Okay, and then we're gonna bend towards the front leg. Try to keep your legs long, but if it's a bit too much, then just give it a bend. Okay, and push back up and extend yourself, reach over to the back leg. 
back forward. And up and back again. Okay, all the way up. Okay, hope you're doing okay. Now we're gonna face the wall. So I know it might be a little twisty with the head. Try to give good explanations. So um, at this point, we can really choose our levels. So the highest level would actually be very low, like over here, okay, if you're really strong. Um, but for beginners and even people who might need some uh, work um, on the scapular area, shoulder girdle, it's good to just start even right over here, okay? Uh, so our arms are a little bit above shoulder height. They're pressing against the wall. Make sure that you don't bend your hips at all, okay? So there's a nice long line between my heels, my pelvis, my shoulders, and my head, okay? So straight arms, and we're gonna bend. Make sure you're sort of widening your shoulders, okay? You wanna point them outwards, okay? And the elbows don't go outwards. Um, you're just keeping your forearms parallel and press away. So again, this can be a nice beginning. You can step back if you wanna feel more uh, pressure, okay? So we can do about eight like this or sort of work around different levels. Okay, keep your uh, body nice and long. Exhale as you press. Nice, and then you can take one arm behind your back and try to do the same. So you might have to go up again, but again, make sure you're keeping your shoulders level, okay? So again, bend. Hips come with you. Keep your whole foot on the floor. Nice. Change the hands. In, X. Long neck, long ears. Try uh, not to work with your neck, okay? Not to lift your shoulder up, but to keep it nice and wide, as I said before. Becky, just FYI, some people are asking in the chat about the breathing during this yeah. part. They inhale when they exhale. Mm -hmm. um, there are different um, sort of choices, but at this point, I would say, if you're working at a level that's pretty hard, like pretty low, then exhale into the power, okay? Into the hard part. So I would inhale as I go in, exhale as I push away, okay? The exhale also helps us sort of keep our scapula, our scapula stabilized because the ribs go down a bit. And I wanna keep the scapula sort of um, hugging and attached to the ribs. Okay, so it's another reason to do that. Okay, and keeping the abs lifted up. Okay. I hope that's clear. Okay, good. So we'll do about two more. Nice. And now we're gonna add a little rotation. So we're going back to the first arm. Okay. And we're gonna let the shoulder of the back arm rotate inwards and then bend and then strain the elbow and rotate out, okay? And try to feel like you wanna push the wall away, okay? So again, forward with the shoulder, the shoulder comes towards the wall, bend the elbow, sporting elbow, press away and rotate. Back. We'll do five of these. So it's like a wall push-up sort of. It's wall push-ups, right. Yeah, exactly. With uh, 
some rotation, okay? And again, so we're gonna rotate in, bend the elbow, push away, rotate out, in. Out. And it's quite a good workout, I must say. I feel the work. <laughs> and one more. Great job. Okay, and we'll give it a little bit of a stretch. So I lift your hands. You can relax a bit. And then lift your hands a bit over your head. And just let your body relax a bit. Try to keep your shoulders, your elbows nice and long. You can bend your knees a bit. And then if you lift your head up, you can start bringing your chest towards the wall, which is a wonderful stretch. Okay, so I'm not going into my lower back. I'm really feeling that, again, the belly is sort of being pulled up into the diaphragm, okay? And allowing the ribs to come up all the way into our arms, okay? So this is the feeling that I wanna be getting, the uh, lengthening upwards, okay? So choose your spot and just sort of uh, let your belly stretch, let your spine relax. And you can slide a, a little bit lower, lower, bend your legs, bend. And then at some point we're gonna release the wall, bend all the way down and inhale, exhale to come back up. Okay. We're gonna move down now, okay? So, I feel like, yeah, should be fine. We're gonna get as close to the wall as possible. Now, I know some people have trouble with this and I say, this is an exercise, getting to the wall, <laughs> okay? So, you can lie down and start just sort of scooting over, <laughs> okay? Get your shoulders moving, your hips, start climbing up the wall with your legs until you get as close to the wall as you can, okay? So if you don't have the length in the back, then you might be a little bit uh, further back, okay? I am trying to really reach my sit bones to the wall and really poke them in, okay? And what I like about this, and again, if someone needs a cushion under your head, this is a good time so that you're not looking back. I want the contact between my eyes and my feet and my knees, okay? So we'll start with some flexing of the feet and point. So this is a demi point. I'm sort of spreading my toes, but then I'm flexing and my heels are climbing up the wall. And again, demi point, so spread your toes, but start pointing the ankles and then point. Demi and flex. I can really look at my feet and make sure they're doing what I'm telling them. They don't always do that. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn out a bit and I'm trying to send my pinky toes or at least the side arch, the, the outer arch of the foot towards the wall. You can really feel it in the outer part of the leg. Okay, and roll back in. Okay, so external rotation. Inhale and exhale back. Becky, someone's asking about, do you put your stomach you know, fat, flat on the floor? Good question. Um, I'm not pressing it. I'm not pressing it against. I want the sacrum, like the center of the sacrum, as you know, if you can pretend that it's um, like a rocking horse, like it should be in centered, okay? And not rocking backwards, not at this point, okay? Unless you feel like you're uh, squeezing your lower back. If you feel that you're doing that, then sure, just tilt it backwards a little bit. You can try to reach the floor with your back, okay? Great. Um, okay, so now we're gonna turn out only one leg, okay? So this is my right leg. And we're trying to reach the pinky toe towards the wall and then slide down. Now I can sort of help myself a little bit to get a bit more of a stretch and even press the knee out a bit. Okay, and then slide back up. You do need to engage 
your abs a little bit and roll back in, okay? Other leg, turn out, roll down. Try and keep your heel away from the wall so that you're not sickling, okay? You might feel the outer part of your um, shin, uh, the lower leg, okay? Peroneal muscles. And again, out, heel up, knee away, and up. Turn out, roll, heel away from the wall. Try to keep your hips in place and down. Both legs and try to really sort of let your legs open up and exhale. So it's like my abs are going in and up towards my ribs and then I'm shooting my legs up and parallel again. Turn out, bring them in and back up one more time. and up and now the right leg is going to just climb down and the whole foot is pressing against the wall okay make it really flat against the wall and now as to your question yes i'm pressing the wall with my foot and it tilts my back my pelvis a little bit so that i do feel sort of a lengthening of the lower back and it feels kind of good okay and you can give yourself a bit of like a, a rock okay so i'm pressing and relaxing Press and relax. Okay, and slide back up again, other leg. Go as low as you can and press. Flattens the lower back on that side and relax. Press, relax, press. And one more and slide back up. Okay, and now we're going to try, see if you can get a bit closer, if you went back. Okay, um, we're going to flex our feet, and we're going to feel like we want to step with one foot on the ceiling. Okay, so what it does, it lifts up the pelvis on that side, you see, and then on the other side, I'm really trying to plant uh, the head of the femur into the ground. This is really good for hip release. And the other side. It also strengthens the adductors and sort of get a nice hip rotation. Feel as if you're carrying uh, glass plates on your feet and you really don't want them to fall. <laughs> nice. Okay. Point the leg. And now we're gonna open sideways, making sure that we're not allowing the opposite hip to come up at this point, okay? So we're trying to keep centered and therefore I will exhale as I open the leg, okay? So I'll inhale to prepare, exhale to keep the control, keep the pull up through the front of the body as I open the leg, okay? And back. Now also make sure that your shoulders are keeping stable, okay? And again, plant the other leg, the leg that's not working into the ground to keep the hips stable. And back up, inhale, X, open, keep the hip, the head of the femur planted into the ground and the leg that doesn't open, keep the shoulders spread. Just try to feel what your limits are at this point. Okay, and now we're gonna add. So we're gonna open up and then we will release that sort of pull. So we're letting the leg fall and we might let the hip, let the hip come up. And then I'll even sort of send it up. Okay, and then the opposite way. So I'm gonna plant that hip into the ground as much as I can. And that is what will bring the leg to float all the way back to place, okay? So we open up keeping the hip in the ground, but then we wanna reach the ground. So we'll actually sort of exaggerate that rotation. Okay, that's the inhale, because we're opening up and then exhale to plant the leg back into the ground 
the other leg is the, my left leg is starting to climb back up and float back into place. Do a couple more. So open, release, shoot up, back with the hip, and up with the leg. Try to feel the connection between the inner thighs, okay, and the uh, obliques. Inhale to release, exhale, plant it in and bring it back up. One more time. You can give it a big sort of yawn here, inhale and exhale. Last one. And back. And then from side to side. So we can do this with bent legs, okay? Just bend your legs to the point that they can sort of touch the ground. Hands are on the ground and bring your legs to one side. Again, great spinal rotation. Inhale here, because we're, again, we're releasing and relaxing. In order to come back, take your opposite hand from the tilt. So if you turn to the right, your left hand is sliding away from you. So you see how the shoulder is sort of able to get closer to the ground, the scapula, and then the upper ribs, Start reaching towards the floor. Ribs, ribs, abs, pelvis, legs, back into place, okay? And again, let the feet go down as much as you can. Check to see if your shoulder comes up. It wants to come up, so okay, allow it. But then take your opposite arm and glide it away from the other hand. Spread the shoulder scapula. And then let the ribs head towards the floor one after the other till the hips join with the knees. A little bit faster from side to side. Inhale, exhale, in, ex, in. And whoever wants can actually lengthen their legs like uh, wipers, wipers on the bus. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my wall is really dirty from uh, all these feet. <sighs> okay, next thing. So we're gonna step on the wall and lightly roll our pelvis up, bending our knees towards the ceiling, okay? Now don't go all the way up to your neck. Just sort of feel as if you're stepping flat on the floor. You can even press against it if you want, okay? And send your knees just to get your hips slightly open and released. But again, don't go into your neck. I really want you to feel that your shoulders are spread. Your hands can be at 90 degrees or 45 degrees. And really feel a nice release around the shoulders and neck, okay? Inhale here, and as you exhale, spread yourself down onto the floor. Nice, all the way back. Inhale, exhale. Knees up, in, hell, and exhale. Last one, in, and ex to come up. Okay, now, um, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, you can stay up here and go a little bit further up. Okay, but we can also go back a little bit. So I'll just move back, okay? Again, we're gonna press against the wall, roll up. Okay, and we're gonna lift and lower our heels. We'll do it about eight times, three. Keep your hips nice and flat, open. Six and seven and eight. Okay, step back onto the floor, the wall, <laughs> the other floor, and straighten one leg, reach as far as you can, and then try to lift it up. Whatever you can do, it can be with a bent knee, can be straight pointed and it can be flexed. And then send it as far away as you can while you're lifting up the, the hips. Okay, so we'll do three of these. You can point and flex and then we'll go, we're sliding the leg back into place and rolling down. 
Inhale, exhale up. Open the hips, make sure your whole neck and shoulder area are nice and free and wide and spread. Slide the leg up the wall, reach far, far away and lift the leg and back. Two and three. Nice. And slide back and roll down. We're gonna go further away. So again, sort of curl back. <laughs> and now we're gonna try to do a bit of a roll up. So we'll start with some chest lifts just to get ourselves uh, warmed up. So we're gonna lift up our shoulder elbows, not too much. Make sure that your hands are like a basket for your head and your head is really heavy into your hands and the neck is relaxed. Chin goes in and we're gonna exhale to come up a little bit and inhale to come back. Open, exhale, up. One more time. Okay, and now we have to sort of find the height of legs that enables us to get all the way up, okay? So I'm trying to actually demi point into the wall. My arms come behind me and then I'll inhale to stretch out and away and then up with my hands and exhale to come up. Okay, see if you can. And if you can't do that, you just grab your legs or you can put your legs down, which is fine. Okay, so see where you're at. Inhale, exhale to come up. And again, you can grab your legs and roll down. One vertebra after the other, try not to plop down. Okay, let's try a couple more times in. Exhale, lengthen your legs into the wall. In, try to lean back and lengthen up if you can, as much as you can and then start tilting your pelvis backwards. Arms forward, legs forward, reaching, reaching far away. In, X. Nice job and stretch forward. Good, okay. We're gonna turn around. Okay, so now we've, we're a little bit on the knees, but not too much. Um, we're gonna put, again, our forearms on the floor. Okay, and the first thing we'll do is just rock forward and back. Forward, keeping the shoulders nice and wide and the neck long, ears far away from the neck, uh, sorry, from the shoulders. Okay, so this is actually the motion that we're gonna be doing when we put our leg on the wall. Back and forth. Okay, so now try to find the place for your leg on the wall. If you feel that it's too high for you and you can't straighten your leg, then you're gonna go forward. Okay, a little bit like this. If you're nice and flexible, you can go back. Okay, so we're spreading our toes on the wall, okay? And again, we're gonna just press forward, feel as if you wanna stretch the mat in front of you and bring your shoulders back. And this is a great hip opener. And now start rotating your hips, okay? So I'm sort of spiraling around that long leg in the back. Okay, and again, we can sort of press ourselves towards the wall by pushing the floor forward and coming back to relax. And again, forward. And one more time. And you can also really straighten your arms okay, to get an extra length there. Length, okay, opening up the armpits getting a beautiful extension through the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Okay. And 
back into place. You can relax a bit. Any questions? Okay, and we're gonna change uh, our legs. Okay, so. Someone in the chat is just asking about the breathing for each exercise. So whether you, ah, when you inhale okay. next. Okay, I must say that over here, just breathe, breathe naturally, okay. okay? There's really not much, uh, in my opinion, to uh, emphasize over here. Just uh, get yourself breathing and relaxing. Okay, so we're just going forward and backwards. A little bit, keeping the shoulders open. Okay, and then we're gonna rotate our hip a little, in and out. And exhale when I rotate in, inhale when I open up. Okay, and then a nice long, Motion forward with the arms, relax your head a bit. Okay, and come back forward. Relax and roll back up. Okay, you can shake your hands a little bit. And now do some work. So um, first of all, um, warm up your wrists. So we're gonna sort of I'm bringing my hips back to my heels, so I don't have a lot of pressure at this moment on my hands and I'm flipping them in all different directions, okay? Just really let your hands get all different stretches there and some pressure. And also I'm putting my hand, the back of my hand on the floor, straightening the elbow and going around with one hand. I don't like doing this uh, with two hands. I don't like the pressure there. Okay, and then the other hand. Okay, good. And now I'm gonna go on all fours. Um, so you wanna find the right height for you, okay? Um, all these can also be done uh, just as a regular plank. Or even if you want to sort of lift yourself onto something like a chair or something with your hands, that's uh, easier. It's sort of like working up and down the wall with our upper part of the body. So just find the place that's good for you. Um, and the legs can be, we can try different heights, okay? So you can sort of explore this. The higher the legs are, the more pressure you got on your shoulder. Your shoulders, uh, the lower the legs are uh, level, the more core you have to use, okay? Um, I like to sort of treat planks as something not so bad. <laughs> um, and sort of imagine um, the British flag, okay? So you've got the muscles going across the body and the obliques going in diagonals and then the rectus abdominis going straight up and down, okay? And just try to think that the flag is spreading, okay? And not oh, I'm squeezing, okay? And then I'm in the plank, okay? So just relax and open up, okay? And just let the body do what it has to do to keep you up, okay? So we can start a plank um, either with our hands down or again, elevated on something, on a chair, on a stool, okay? And we'll just do something like this. Okay, and just uh, sort of stay there. You can rock back and forth to get more and less pressure on your shoulders. Okay, and then uh, you can start climbing up. Okay, so push against the wall. Okay, so this would be obviously more advanced. Whoops, <laughs> I have to go a bit higher. Okay, and try not to let your hips fall down like this. No, no. Okay, again, you wanna keep that straight line between the toes, the pelvis, and shoulders, and head. And then we can try climbing up a bit, which actually helps, it alleviates the pressure a bit. So I climbed up. Again, we can try the plank, 
but we can also push backwards. And again, this is something that can definitely and recommendedly be done with the feet on the floor, okay? So you can go from this, uh, the triangle to the plank, okay? Exactly the same thing, or again, with the elevation under your hands, or we can do it at different levels here. And I'm trying to get a straight line between my hands, my shoulders with the head that's released and the hips at this point. Okay, I don't really care about the angle in the hips. Okay, but when I go down to the plank, I do. I want that line to be from head to toes. And up. And down. Exhale here. Inhale as you go up. Expand the ribs, exhale. One more time. And we can rest a little bit. Okay. And the next thing we'll do is use one leg. Okay. So we've got one leg on the, one knee on the floor and one leg behind us. So again, this can be done over here. So now I'm actually doing the same thing as I did before. I can use the bottom leg to help me going. Okay. So this is like the plank position. And then I'm pushing back. So I'm pushing the floor forward. My shoulders come back. I can use as much support as I want from the bottom foot, okay? So I'm going back and my butt comes up. I can also use uh, sort of the flex toes, okay? If you want and go back. And whoever wants and can, can also release the leg and then come back. Okay, so this is uh, stage one. Next stage, we'll go back up to the wall. Okay, so I got the leg pretty high up. Okay, in a comfortable place. I always like to extend my hip here. Not arching, okay, I'm not sinking. I'm keeping myself nice and long in the spine. I'm pressing forward with the hands. I can use, again, as much foot, as much supporting leg as I want or less to go up, lifting up the shoulders. So remember what we did in the beginning of the class, okay? We lifted up, okay, our arms through the shoulders. That's exactly what we're doing here. And again, whoever wants can extend, strain the knee and come back again. Do as many as you feel comfortable with, I won't give a number. can change legs. Make sure your shoulders are nice and wide. Clavicles are smiling. As well as your mouth. <laughs> Maybe straighten. Again, work at your own level and pace. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, how's everyone doing? Oh, give ourselves a bit of a <laughs> release here. Okay. Last thing that I really wanted to do is another nice neck release. Uh, we're actually doing it standing. And it'll be part of the roll down at the end of the class. So we're facing the wall, a bit of a distance. Okay. And then we're just going to bend our head down and Go, start leaning on the wall actually. So go as close or far as you need so that you can get your head sort of hanging there all the way to your shoulders, okay? You really wanna feel the shoulders against the wall. Just sort of relax over there, let your hands relax. And whoever wants to find more length in their neck can feel as if they wanna sort of pull up a little bit. Pull up and into the wall. You can let your arms go up, sort of flat against the wall. And if you have the imagination and remember some Pilates moves, this is like the roll over that we do on the floor. <laughs> so we're pressing our arms against the 
the wall or the floor and our legs are behind us. That's a good preparation for this because there's not as much pressure on the neck or the upper back. And again, relax and go back up again. You can let your arms go back up to the wall. And go back down, inhale and roll up carefully. Oop. Hands up. And release. And that's it. Awesome. Thank you, Becky. How was it, Nomi? <laughs> I loved it. I had a really, I really enjoyed it. I do a lot of um, yoga, as you know, but every time I do stuff with you, it's a, it's a really nice sort of intersection between yoga <laughs> and moves I've never done before and sort of ways of taking old moves and making them new like this neck thing I've never done before and putting my yeah. legs again it's just like doing a robot yeah I, uh -huh. I putting my legs up facing the wall but never done it backwards which was a really cool feeling so like I really kick to the handstand yeah 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 you can also work on walking towards the wall yeah you know upside down facing the wall and then you sort of push away 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 until you get close to the wall yeah. and then go back you know it's a it's also a really good workout or being at 90 degrees and then lifting a leg and lowering those are yeah. all really good uh handstand preps it's also for me it was really nice because i don't usually get to do pilates in the middle of the day like this and for those of us you know working from home and who don't move a lot during the day it was a really nice sort of way to break up the day for me on a on a wednesday so yeah oh <laughs> great right <laughs> a reminder to stretch a little bit you know, throughout the day, not just in the morning or in the evening, you know, but find ways to- uh, I wish people, yeah, I actually have 11.30 workouts during the day. So, you know, obviously not every, everyone can do it, but you know, there, there are people out there. So- yeah, it's really awesome. And, and uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys will join uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, classes. So. On that note, you know, as we said in the beginning, Becky is happy to connect with any one of you um, individually offline. So if you want to connect with Becky, um, my colleagues will put in the chat again, her link for you to follow her and connect with her. You can also email us anytime at webinar at AIFL.org if you want to take some more classes with Becky or if you want to um, get a recording of this class. All of the recordings that we do are free and on YouTube. Um, and please, I hope you sign up for our future webinars with Becky as well as with our other friends in Israel and the United States. Hopefully all of you newbies are now Pilates converts and will do Pilates for the rest of your lives <laughs> with us mm -hmm. and on your own. Um, Becky, we've gotten a lot of wonderful compliments from people thanking you and saying this was a wonderful, amazing class. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Etta, yeah. Um, great. <laughs> and um, we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar, which will be this Sunday. Um, we will do another art um, discussion. Mm. Um, it's called the wow phenomenon in effect with our renowned art expert and owner of the Stern Gallery in Israel, um, Debbie Lucia. Yeah. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Becky. Thanks all of you uh, from around the world who did Pilates with us today. And hopefully we will see you on Sunday and at our future Pilates webinars. Thanks everyone. Thanks. Bye. Take care.